Naval Medical Center Portsmouth is now the center of a $25 million federal lawsuit. A Newport News family filed the paperwork after the loved one died a couple of weeks after having surgery. Ten of your science Jason Marks is in Portsmouth with more on this lawsuit. Jim Van Edberg says a part of him died the day that his wife took her last breath. He says the care that she got here at the hospital was the reason why she's gone. The love affair between Jim and Ellie Van Emberg started in the mid 80s. Jim was in the Army, stationed in Panama, when the two first locked eyes. And at that point in time, I was just joking with her and I said, you know, I'm going to marry you one day. That joke turned into a reality. The two were married for 34 years. Just an awesome person, made friends wherever she went. In October 2019, Ellie checked in a Naval Medical Center Portsmouth for hiatal hernia surgery. The expectation it would be routine. But in the minutes right after the procedure, Ellie began to experience complications. At about 10, uh, I got a call saying, hey, we had to move your wife from recovery to ICU. The issues continued for days. Jim says doctors unknowingly cut her esophagus. It caused internal bleeding. No one knew how bad it was until they were home five weeks later. Ellie couldn't breathe. The worst is she looked at me. And when you have that many years together, it was help me like you always do. And I failed. No, I failed her. Ellie died a short time later. And it's just impossible to describe it, the loss and the pain. This is nothing but an unmitigated tragedy that didn't have to happen. The family's now suing Naval Medical Center Portsmouth for $25 million, citing a lack of care during and after the surgery. Ellie Van Inberg would still be alive today if not for the failures of Naval Medical Center Portsmouth. The family believes things would have been different had doctors caught and repaired the mistake right away. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. 4.15 on 9 November, my life ended. Ellie passed and, you know, I've been like this ever since. With no answers. No answers at all. We reached out to Naval Medical Center Portsmouth about the lawsuit. We were told no one could comment on pending litigation. That's the latest here in Portsmouth. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.